I've got such a great story for you. The secret history of an everyday household product which was a vital component in hydrogen bombs. First of all, I'd like to talk to you about this new model that I'm attempting to do and to change my channel a bit. My catchphrase, the truth is out there, is really true. Obviously, it's a reference to the X-Files and deep secrets, but it's not really just about that. It's about hidden knowledge. I have found while researching science stories over the years that there are people out there who really know stuff. And you, as Patreons, fall into that category. Your years of work, your knowledge, your interests, your hobbies. Between us all, us grey-haired men and women of a certain age, we know our stuff. We've had years of experience, years of research, working in our dedicated field of knowledge. And that's what I want to bring to a new audience. And you saw that in my latest film, the film on Ooda Loops, with Alex Andrik. Fantastic. Alex is a Patreon on this channel. I said I was interested in doing a film about Ooda Loops. He contacted me, recorded his answers on his webcam in this time of COVID restrictions. Plus, I'm not going to go to... Alex's hometown and film him so he sent that to me and it was just perfect. Alex answered my questions and added so much to that film from a military historian's background. So currently I'm working on a second film tapping into you guys, the Patreons, and it's a film about the Trinity test and the world's first atomic bomb and whether it might have set off a chain reaction that would have incinerated the atmosphere in an uncontrolled fusion event. And the answer to that is fascinating. I'm not going to tell it to you today because it's all about disinformation. And the whole story is not what it appears to be. But one of you guys, one of our Patreon friends, is helping me with the physics. But today, while researching that film, and it goes deeply into hydrogen bombs, I've come across this fantastic little but really important story about a secret everyday product which was used in hydrogen bombs. So by the 1990s, the US's stockpile of hydrogen weapons, specifically the Navy Polaris missiles, needed to be refurbished. And so they went to some military facility where they undid the nose cone, took the bomb apart. The Hydrogen bomb is basically two bombs. You know, there's a fission core which explodes and then it ignites the fusion in the hydrogen part, producing this super weapon, which is pr very badly named a hydrogen bomb. But we'll explain more of that in my upcoming film. So these military technicians took the bombs apart to make sure that they were working and to refurbish any parts that needed changing. And what they found inside the bomb was a mystery product. And I'm holding some today. In Britain, we call this stuff expanded polystyrene. But in the US, you call it by its commercial name, styrofoam. And styrofoam was first produced by Dow chemicals in the late 40s and early 50s as a packing material with a very specific feature for hydrogen bombs. That's how this stuff was invented. It isn't just for packing stuff from Amazon. So when the technicians took the bombs apart, they found this what looked like a styrofoam package material, and it was also blue. And again, if you're American, you probably know about the blue Dow product styrofoam used in the building industry. Originally an atomic product. But the stuff inside the hydrogen bomb was obviously expanded polystyrene, but it seemed to have some strange qualities. And they couldn't buy it any more. It isn't available from Radio Shack or even the McMaster catalog. So they went to Dow and said, um, 
this stuff inside the bombs. Can we have a big lump of it? Because we'd like to rebuild the bombs. And Dow said, oh, no, we don't make it anymore. And it's very secret. Yeah, I'm sure it's secret. Um, but uh, we're the military and we're rebuilding the bombs. Can we have a big lump of it? And Dow said, no. We've forgotten how to make it. This is a true story. It was made in this building, Building 17, at some Dow Chemical Works for the American military. And it was never written down. Nobody wrote down the formula. Old guys like me and you <laughs> made the stuff, passed on the knowledge to your colleagues, retired, and the whole thing was forgotten. So by the late 90s, you just couldn't get any more of this Dow Chemicals. It probably wasn't just exactly the same as Styrofoam. I believe it's very classified, but I, they call it like an aerogel. And you've probably seen pictures of this strange aerogel stuff. And the point of why it was in the bomb is this. First of all, it was like an Amazon box. It held the two spheres of the fusion and the fission bomb apart, but it served as a second function. When the fission bomb explodes, it turns the polystyrene into a plasma, and that plasma was part of the explosion that caused the fusion part of the hydrogen bomb to go off and produce a bigger bang. But this specialized styrofoam was impossible to source, and it took over 10 years of research and new development to actually build the old stuff as they had in the 1960s. Wow, the secret history of styrofoam and the hydrogen bomb. So do you want to be on YouTube? If you do, this is how it could happen. First of all, join me on Patreon. And I've set the Patreon joining fee to $1. Not to make money, all that does is a fee to join the club and puts you and me in direct communication. When you join, I'll ask you what your interests are, what your hobbies or what your background skills are. And then I'll publish a list of future potential films that you could help on. If you see a subject that you know a lot about and would like to help, get in touch. I'll set questions. You film the answers on your webcam and the rest will be history. And this is why I think that's a really good idea. YouTube is genuinely interactive, unlike television. And so much knowledge is out there. So join Patreon, or if you don't want to do that, just get in touch with me and tell me what your knowledge base is, because the truth is out there.